Hey Threadheads, Darren here. It's that time of year again when people start asking for suggestions on what you'd like to receive for gifts. If you're like me, you usually give a little pause and, um, uh, I don't know, marabou? So I've put together a little list here of some new items that have come out from different manufacturers over the last year. Some stuff that I think, personally, I would like to have in my own stockings this year. And I think you would enjoy it as well. So this ranges from some simple fly tying materials up to some uh, tools, uh, books, as well as some clothing and decals. You can pick the ones that you like or send this whole list to your loved ones and they can use it as a free-for-all list to pick a few things up for you. I know personally the list I did last year was a godsend to my wife and uh, luckily I managed to pick up a few really great items that otherwise she might not have known to pick up for me. So hope you enjoy it. You can check the description down below and I've got a full list of all the products that I feature with links to sites, etc. Let's just jump into it. Personally, I'm transitioning all of my fly tying to using barbless hooks. I still have a big collection of barbed hooks and I've slowly been adding to my cache over the years. Hannock offers a range of barbless hooks geared towards competition anglers. Their range of hooks covers a variety of nymph, dry, scud, jig, and streamer hooks with strong steel and upturned needle sharp points. Hannock is the choice brand of many competitive anglers and so I know I can trust the quality. Packages of 25 start around $8. Firehole Outdoors, their new line of firehole stones is now available. The stones are countersunk tungsten beads in a range of sizes from 2mm up to 4.8mm. This lineup includes 17 different matte finish colors and 4 anodized colors. Some of these colors included are True Blood, Almond Joy, Mounds, Cream Puff, among some more traditional color offerings like Olive and Black. I was able to get in on the pre-sale for these beads and I'm excited to get to try them out and get creative with some new fly patterns. They also have a brass selection that is scheduled to come out in 2019. Beads range from $10.50 to $12.50 per box of 50. From Cascade Crest Tools comes a new chenille material in 12 colors called Mop Chenille. So obviously it's perfect for tying the infamous mop fly, but it's also useful for tying egg patterns, worms, and various caddis fly patterns. It drinks up the water and expands when it gets wet, so don't get too big unless you can easily cast a gym sock. From Arctic Fisherman Fur Company, we have some great assortments of their fox and fin raccoon hair. These are great for the tired just getting into tying big streamers for steelhead and salmon and provides a nice range of colors to get you started. The fin raccoon assortment has seven and each of the fox, blue fox, as well as the mutation fox have six colors. Uni Products has just introduced a couple new colors in their lineup. ADOT thread is now available in mahogany. Uni yarn can be found in sand, perfect for tying flies for bonefish. And the Axle Flash line has expanded to include orange and salmon in their color range. From Gliss and Gloss, the makers of the indispensable Estas, comes a killer new version. UV60 is a supersized Estas that is perfect body wrap for big streamers, hoppers, banff patterns, and much more. The 60mm 2.3 inch wide chenille with a little bit of UV fibers mixed in for good measure. UV60 comes in 6 colors and retails for about $4 a package. Hemingway has a great line of silicone rubber materials that can help add a little bit of realism to your fly patterns. The collection includes a wide range of sizes and colors of bug parts covering insects like stoneflies, mayflies, and scuds. There are various products cast in the soft silicone rubber mix, as well as some printed adhesive buds and backs. There is also a unique product called Bug Flesh that can be used in the construction of some caddis patterns. Loon has expanded their offering of the Ergo Fly Tying Tool Line with the addition of three new tools. The Ergo Hackle Plier features an easy to handle teardrop shape and a smooth jaw that will allow for a variety of materials to be grasped. Those retail for $9.95. The Ergo Comb features a stainless steel tines and a powder coated yellow ergonomic handle. These are great for combing out your wet streamers to keep them neat in your box. This retails for $12.95. The D-loop tweezer comes in handy for picking up beads and hooks. I can also see this being quite useful for helping photograph your flies. Retail on this is 
In addition to the new tools, Luna's put together a seven-piece collection of their Ergo line of tools, packaged in a heavy-duty travel case and featuring an Ergo Aeropoint scissors, all-purpose scissors, a bobbin, a bodkin, quick finish, dubbing brush, and the Gator Grip dubbing spinner. This is perfect for tires starting to get serious about their craft, as well as for the veteran redhead who wants to get treated with some good quality flying tools. Retail on the kit is $89.95. The Fin Utility Tying Roll is a perfect case for heading over to a friend's house while safely transporting your tying tools and some hooks. It's also great for taking along if you do any kind of tying shows or fly tying clubs. It's constructed from 10 ounce army wax duck cotton with lots of pockets. The roll is 4 inches by 6.5 inches when rolled and is made in the US. This retails for $65. Once you're done tying your creations, you're going to need a place to store them so you can easily bring them out on the water. For streamer tires and creators of bigger flies, the Cliff's Bugger Beast Jr. or Cliff's Bugger Barn Fly Box, skinned with the artwork from artist Derek DeYoung, is a great choice to house your flies. One of my favorite works and series of works from Dion is his Cubist series. Another option to consider is the Fin Utility Streamer Suitcase. It's almost two times larger than the Streamer Wallet. It's made from water-resistant 18-ounce wax twill canvas. It has two patches of thick 100% natural Texas sheep shearling and it's finished with a friction leather closure. If it drops in the water, it's going to float and just dry it out in the sun and you're good to go. Graydon and Leslie Hilliard have released their long-awaited book on a legendary Maine fishing guide, taxidermist, artist, and fly tire. Herbert L. Welch, Black Ghosts and Art in a Maine Guide's Wilderness is now available and features a history of the legend with his original fly patterns. As a bonus to streamer aficionados, several more of Carrie G. Stevens' patterns have been identified and included. We can always use a new t-shirt for either kicking it at the vice or for on stream. I really like to support the fly tying community here on YouTube and buying some merch like a shirt, hat, or decals can really go a long way in supporting their efforts. Friend of the channel Mike Evenko has teamed up with one of my favorite fly fishing artists, Andrea Larco, to create a new graphic t-shirt. The original design is available in short or long sleeves with the Larco graphic on the back and the Wooly Bug logo on the front. Those range from $25 to $28. Another friend of the channel is Sean from McFly Angler and he's just released a new line of apparel. You can go with his original design logo or try one of the other graphics. Sean has shirts, hoodies, coffee mugs, phone covers, and stickers available for purchase. One of my favorite streetwear shops is Strip and Flywear. Dave Hartman is the mind behind the brand and has developed a really cool range of graphics for shirts, hats, hoodies, and decals. Now is a great time to pick up a couple shirts as Dave has a promotion for free shipping and free products when you spend $50. Don't forget to pick up a new calendar to hang in your tying space. The Art of the Fly 2019 wall calendar features a selection of flies created by artist Paul Twitchell and retails for $10. One of my favorite items to get is the Trout of North America calendar each year. It showcases the lifelike fish illustrations of nature artist Joseph R. Tomarelli. I get to check out a new species of fish every month as well as a history, detailed range map, and a hatch chart to go along with each. At the end of the year, I add these to my library as each year brings something different. Alright, thanks everyone for watching. I hope you're able to find a couple items that will enhance your fly tying this season and give your loved ones a couple gift suggestions. Please have a look at the description for the links and a full list of everything we covered in the video. Thank you to all the brand representatives who took the time to let me know about some of their new products and offerings and uh, answered a few questions via email. If you know of any other items that you think might be great gift suggestions or new products that I haven't covered on the video, make sure you drop them in a comment down below and I'll add them to the list for next year. Alright guys, thanks for watching. Hey Fly Tires, thanks for stopping by and checking out my fly tying videos. If you enjoyed the video and want to show your support, hit the thumbs up and share it to your social networks. I hope you consider subscribing to the channel and if you do, be sure to hit the bell icon to get notifications on my latest fly patterns, tips and reviews. If you have a question or comment, leave a message below. You'll also be entered into the next draw for some of the flies I tie and a few stickers. Until next time, this is Darren saying, keep a hook in your vice. Cheers.